I'm Levy Rosman, and right now I'm joined by Prague. Prague, first of all, very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Finally, I feel like I've covered so many of your games and read so many stories about you. 2747, official rating, number 14 in the world, I believe, at the moment. First candidates, what are the emotions right now? I'm just excited uh, for the event. You know, I've watched uh, many candidates, and yeah, it feels uh, great to be playing here, one of them. Is there anything you can learn from some of the maybe previous, let's say the most recent one, the story of Firuja, right? There's so many eyes, so much pressure, or some previous. Is there anything you can learn from some of the previous editions uh, going into this one? Yeah, first of all, it's a long event. Things can change a lot in the second half of, a, half of the event. So yeah, you have to stay alert uh, for your chances, and if they come, you just have to grab them. I want to just start off by addressing a an elephant in the room, which is, uh, let's say, the photo of you at the airport coming back from, it was the Olympiad or it was... Um, World Cup. I yeah, think. World Cup. It was the, the photo where, uh, as a spectator of the game, it's completely fascinating. Like, it looks like you can't move. Like, the car cannot drive forward because there are so many people, right? Like, how has it been for you after the World Cup, qualifying, the wins against Magnus, all the publicity? What's that been like for you to handle? Yeah, it's something new. It kind of started from 2022, and then I think World Cup kind of uh, made it bigger. Yeah, people do recognize me a lot nowadays, and I, I see it as a, it's a good thing for the game, um, new people coming into the game. For me personally, I'm, I'm just focusing on, on my chess and working hard uh, towards that. So it doesn't uh, put me under any pressure as of now. Uh, maybe it will change in the future, but for now, I'm yeah, I'm just doing uh, what I do normally. I guess last question on sort of the subject of, uh, let's call it attention, not from the public necessarily, but from, in this case, Magnus himself. Like, it's pretty rare to get on interview, or at least on footage, so much support from the world champion. Okay, he's technically not the world champion, but he's the best in the world. And there's a clip of him congratulating you at the World Cup, which a lot of people make a big story out of it and it looks very cool. But it's it must be a little bit deeper than that for you. It must be just kind of a respect for your game, like respect as a competitor. And um, has that affected you in any way? Has it sort of like just made you go back to, you know, working as hard as possible and realizing like you really could be the next world champion? Yeah, it feels good uh, when when the best player kind of acknowledges you. And yeah, whenever we have played, we always had uh, exciting games. I think that's something that Magnus has himself said in some interviews. I've only had a few moments to discuss some chess with him, but I've thoroughly enjoyed all of them uh, to get to know his thought process. And yeah, it's always fascinating to hear from him. Talk to me a little bit about Waka. Like I know about Waka, I know, and, I, and I'm sure the Indian audience does as well. But uh, how important is that for just improvement, for support, and really what is it for somebody that doesn't know? Yeah, so Waka is uh, Westbridge Anand Chess Academy. Westbridge is uh, it's a company and Anand sir, uh, they together started uh, this thing and I'm one of the students there and four coaches there, um, Boris Gelfand sir, mm -hmm. uh, Sandeep and Chanda sir, uh, Arthur Yusupu and uh, Gayevski. Also Anand sir, uh, um, take some sessions uh, sometimes and it's more than that just being in touch uh, with Anand sir um, you know discussing a lot of stuff uh, starting from you know technical chess stuff so mentally you know physically how to be in shape and there are many small small uh, questions regarding the candidates you know how to build a team and how to manage all this stuff and I'm always in touch with them yeah truly grateful to be in this uh, to be in this initiative and I mean, learning a lot from Waka. It, it started in uh, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. and especially at that time, it was very important uh, because we had this group with um, other other youngsters like Gukesh, mm -hmm. uh, Nihal, Arjun, and we had this group every week. We would have like three three sessions together, and it's always fun. Basically, at that point, you don't have much to do, and then in these sessions are all. Always like competitive and you know fun and yeah I really enjoyed uh, enjoyed them. Yeah. I'm very fascinated by the way with this whole group of of young players from India. 
uh, like yourself, Gukesh, like you mentioned, Arjun. But it is interesting because chess is an individual sport at the end of the day. Of course, there's the Olympiad, there's these team events, but you're all around the same age, which me, and you're all the bright stars of one nation. So is it difficult to have that, you know, that balance of, well, we're kind of teammates at certain events and we can help each other get better, but like it's kill or be killed. Like we're at the candidates. There's no teammates here, right? Like one of us can win and one of us will, it's first or last basically in the candidates. So is that difficult? Like a little bit of a difficult balance to strike? Never felt uh, difficult to adjust. Um, you know, we are, as I've said in previous interviews, we are friends of the board and uh, on the board we fight. In team events, let's say we obviously will help each other. Mm -hmm. Also, we, I mean, it's not that we reveal everything in yeah. team events. It's, so it's something that we, uh, if it's very important, we do share uh, with each other. And but most of the time we play individual, uh, individually. Yeah, so it's it's not like we share our opening ideas. It's just if there is some position in front of us, we will discuss about it. But yeah, that's about it. Like we just play our games when we meet. Prague, you're obviously you you love chess and you're obviously very good at it. But is there something in your life that you love to do but are very bad at? No, oh, there are many. Do love to play sports, other Which sports. Ones? Yeah, to play a uh, badminton. Okay. Uh, cricket. Sometimes it's not a uh, usual one. Uh, table tennis. And recently, I tried uh, volleyball. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I feel like that would work well because you're pretty tall. I started playing very recently, so I, I mean, I'm still uh, horrible at it, but I'm learning. It must be a bit weird to be incredible at something, but then start something and be a complete beginner. Or do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it. Uh, I think it's much more fun when you play uh, as a noob in some other sport than you know playing uh, playing like a master. Yeah, because it's much more ten pressure there because you feel like uh, you are good at it and you yeah. want to show it. Yeah? yeah. But there, okay, you don't care. Even if you lose all the games, it's just you're playing it for fun. I guess the uh, the last fun question I have for you is uh, if you could eat a food for the rest of your life, same food, what would it be? Oh, definitely Indian, uh, Indian cuisine. Uh, if I have to pick one, so I'm from the south of India, and from my place, uh, dosa is famous. Uh, so that's something that, yeah, I can definitely eat for my life. My life yeah. I had my first dosa yesterday. Ah, in Sagar, and there was a place here. Did in you Toronto. like it? Yeah, it was amazing. I don't know if it was because you. Know, it, maybe it's not the proper one, but. Still, I was just gonna say, kind of, like, you know, in the States and in UK, I know there's like chicken tikka masala. This is like the most popular dish and it's not really, like they say it's not really Indian and I don't know, but it it, it felt? Yeah, probably this one, it's easier to make it similar to the, similar to like proper uh, stuff because it doesn't require too much uh, variety stuff. So I guess it's closer. Any uh, final words to the to the fans watching back home? Yeah, just uh, follow the candidates and um, keep rooting for all of us. And yeah, we mostly prog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, in general, we are will probably have a lot of fighting games. So yeah, just enjoy the games. Prog, thank you so much for the time. Yeah. All the best in the tournament. Yeah, thank you.